My name's Scott Stanton, and I play in the band Current Swell. We are releasing a new song and music video about addiction. It's called Bad News. When I wrote the song, me and Dave wrote the song together, and um, I was going through a time in my life when um, a very close person to me was suffering with addiction and it was just like every time the phone would ring I just like l look at the number and kind of be like oh no what next kind of thing like you know do I need money and like or whatever it is you just like always are thinking about them and you they like, can't stop thinking about like where they are and worried about them and then you can't get a hold of them and then finally three days later they get a hold of you and just, it's just, it, it was just hard to, you know, like see this happen to someone you love so much. My name is Stephen Frank. I'm a manager and friends of the band Current Swell. We came up with this idea of creating a song that told the story of an addicted person from their own perspective and how hard it life can be and basically how it can alienate you from, from other people. The idea of her walking forwards through the video and everything else moving backwards was kind of to, again, to show that uh, mental illness and addiction can, can get you out of sync with people and with life around you. But this ain't easy, yeah, yeah. It's not always necessarily easy. It's you know, it's difficult and it takes patience and it takes a lot of understanding and it takes a lot of, a lot of work. Try to just always be around her and always supporting her and always just showing her how much we loved her and eventually, you know, it just r really came through. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the time when you feel that helpless, like I honestly did wanna just run away. You know, I remember just being like, oh, what can I do to help? And uh, but being being there is at the end of the day was the most. Even if that's all you can do, it it goes a long way. If you don't have anyone, where do you go? I wouldn't have turned my back on them ever. She said she The reason why we wanted to put this video out is we want to show people that addiction is an illness. Like a lot of people don't have the choice. It has to be known that they're like just like anybody else and it, just what happened to them in their life. They were hurt at some time or whatever and ended up going down the wrong road, down the wrong path. But I think they can have the same success, success story that I've seen, you know. It didn't just portray drug addiction as afflicting uh, homeless people or people that are uh, living on the street. This uh, woman might come from a middle class area and she ends up behind a dumpster to kind of show that this can affect anybody. You don't really know what's going through someone's... It, what's happening in someone's life. They could be struggling with tons of different issues that you know that you don't even know of so just having understanding and patience is important. With the right support like now the person that's close to me that was suffering with addiction is like the like a perfect example of like success story you know like just the most amazing person to be around now and it like you know chokes me up because when when i look back to see where she was and where she is now it's the most amazing thing to see what i've learned probably from this whole experience the most is how awful and how hard addiction is on people, and um, how important it is to be to be there for them. Being there for people is going to go a long way. Mm -hmm.